In this video, we'll take a quick look at how to get logged into Edsby. So first of all, for your school, you're going to have a specific URL, uh, something.edsby.com. In this instance, we're logged into twine.edsby.com. For your school, that's going to be something different that's you know specific to your organization. So you'll go to that URL. It'll bring a page that looks something like this. And if you are a staff member or a parent, or in many cases, a, a student as well, uh, you're going to log in using an email address as your username. Uh, if you are using an email address as your username, right, it's going to prompt you here for a password. If for any reason you don't know your password, the forgot password link will work to send an email to you. So for all parents and staff, that's going to work. For students, that will work as well as long as their username is an email address. In the case of students, some of our schools don't use true email for that, and that's all right. Assuming that I know my password, all I need to do is enter my password here and log in, and we're good to go. Now, you'll notice that on that login screen, we do sometimes present an option. So some schools, for example, use Google for their staff or student accounts, or others might use Microsoft O365. So if you have a Google or an O365 button there, you don't necessarily need to put in a username and password. Instead, you can simply hit the Google link or the Microsoft link. And what it might do is ask you to confirm the account that you're going to use to connect. And at that point, it will log you in. So if I'm already logged into my Google account, I can choose my name here, and it will log me right into Etsby as a shortcut. All right, thanks.